So everyone, I am back. I hope everyone had a beautiful holidays and oh, happy belated new year. Okay. Happy belated new year. Look, my sister bought me this here. <clears throat> this is my present. My sister bought me. Yeah, everybody know what this is. This is a Dutch oven. Let me tell you. This thing is heavy. It's heavy, but it's pretty. It's just gorgeous. So I'm going to cook in this here today. This is what I'm cooking in today. Is that Dutch oven she bought me. I'm going to make beef stew. And I'm going to show you everything I have to go in this beef stew. So I have everything on this countertop I'm going to use. First off, I'm going to cheat, too. I'm not going to use no flour. I'm going to use this here. This beef stew season mix. This is what I'm going to put in mine. I'm not going to use all that corn starch. And I'm not going to use no flour. Because I don't feel like going through all that right now. So, I have me some meat here. Some stew meat. And it is good. It looks good. But I'm going to cut it up a little smaller. Because it's kind of big. And I'm going to season it up with some uh, salt and black pepper. Put some flour on it. Which that's going to make thickness too. And I'm going to fry it up. Uh, so I'm just going to put just a little flour on it. And parsley. I'm going to put on the front of my video how much of what I'm using. Okay? And I'll measure it out. We have yellow onion. No, sweet onion is what I have here. Sweet onion. Because I want to give it a different type of flavor. I have celery, okay? And I'm going to measure everything off, and I'm going to show you just how I'm going to do it. I'm not going to make a whole lot of this. I'm just going to make a little bit. And I have some green onion, and I have some cilantro. Everything is fresh. Bell pepper, and I have some uh, beef broth. I don't know how many of these I'm going to use. And I have me some uh, golden potatoes. Okay, I'm going to use these because they don't get too soggy too fast. All right, so I'm going to get my meat and everything together, and I'll be back. So I'm going to have to come here, and I'm going to have to cut up this here meat because this meat is just entirely too big. So I'm cutting up some of my meat up because it it's big. It's big meat. That's it, and I'm gonna cut it up. Okay? All right, then. So now, I'm on these potatoes. Okay, so when you do your potatoes, now, I'm gonna tell you, I did the celery. The celery took about a cup and a half, a, a sliced celery. The... Um, the uh, onion, the green onion, was a cup and a half. The cilantro was a fourth of a cup. The parsley was a fourth of a cup. Okay, so when you get to your potato like this, take your potato. Let me see if you can see this. Take your potato. Cut your potato where you know it is going to, when you pick it up, it is going to fit in your spoon, okay? It's going to fit in your spoon, and that's what you want. You want it so when you pick it up, it's going to go into the spoon. So you're going to take it, cut it this way. You're going to cut it so thick, then you're going to cut it in half, okay? So that is how it is done, okay? So I'm going to go ahead on, finish cutting up these potatoes and put those in there all right okay so now we on the carrots when you do your carrots fix your carrots where you know when you pick up the potatoes and the carrots together everything is going to be perfect okay i peel my carrots with a knife they have a potato pillar or whatever if you want to use it fine but i do mine like this that isn't that big but you get some good, good, good taste in there. And that's what I like about it. I like the flavor and the taste that I'm going to get and everything. And it is so good. So I'm going to do me about 
a cup of carrots, slice them on up, and then I'll be back. Since these are so big, like, I'm going to slice these in half because they just a little bit too big. They be talking about putting it in your mouth. Okay, so I'm going to take and I'm going to slice these up like this because that's a little bit too big. The other ones, I'll just leave them right because they're big enough to uh, put in a spoon. Okay. Look, I have to show everyone something because I had came across this carrot and this carrot, I know is an alien carrot. I don't know why I feel that, but I feel it is just an alien carrot. Look at this carrot, how it's made and, and uh, it's in the bag. I, I, look, look at it. See how it's made? And this is in the back. And I can't believe this carrot. I don't know what it is. I call it an alien carrot. You know, and this was up in the back, made like this here. And I can't believe it. I just wanted to show y'all that. So now I'm going to start with my beef broth. This right here is two cups right here. So the meat already to made its sauce. and everything in there. So it's gonna be just like a beef stew, okay? And I'm gonna take this here, and I'm putting this here in the oven and let it go ahead on and finish cook in the oven because that's what this thing is, is a Dutch oven. So it can finish cooking in the oven because this is my stew. Put me some more beef uh, beef broth in there, but this time I'm gonna add me one of these little packages. You know I've never cooked with this here before, but I'm gonna see what's got. Don't seem like I need it, but that's okay. It'll make it thick and nice. And it says it has a, it's a season mix in there, so I see a lot of little seasonings in there, but. I am definitely going to try it and put that on in there, in there with it and let it go ahead on and get it some more seasoning. Let me see. This is about one and a half cups right here. That's one and a half cups. So... Now, this is going to be so good with all that, whatever, all that seasonings in there, the parsley, the celery, everything. I'm going to put me about one more cup in there. Okay. Let me see, what is it going to take? That's two cups. Okay, so that's two cups in there. All right, two cups in now. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to let it season on up here. And let it go ahead on cook in the oven on, uh, I'm going to cook it on 350 in the oven. Okay, and then I'll be back. I already made my cornbread to go with it. So we're going to put that lid on now. And I'm going to let it cook with that lid on there. I'll put my oven on 350. Let that cook with that lid on there. And we're going to see what we got in a little. So, I finished. And it is excellent. Let me show it to you. Look at it. It is. So, and the, look, it still have fire. still have smoke coming from it. See how it looks? It turned out so good. This beef stew is so, so good. 
already had me a bowl. You still see the 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 smoke coming from it, the steam coming from it. But it is good. And I want to tell everyone, have a beautiful one. I want everyone to stay safe. Uh, they said this COVID is coming back up. Scary. It's just right very really scary. But I want to tell everyone that, hey, I'm so happy my sister gave me that pot. That is the best pot in the world to cook with. I want to thank you, Donna. I love you so much. And thank you so much for my present. It is a joy to have. So, love everyone. Give you a big hug. Give someone a big hug, okay? And this is a brand new year for all of us. All of us. Uh, let's keep this hope alive and keep struggling. And keep keep your faith. Keep your faith up high, okay? And it'll all work out for you. And whatever you want in life, claim it. Claim it. And you're going to have it, okay? All right. Bon appetit, baby.